Another nice puzzle, which many of you will know, so don't shout out the answer, but, um, but it, to many people it's quite surprising the first time you see it, because puzzles include paradoxes. And here's a, here's a, a seeming paradox. Supposing I drive from Oxford to Cambridge <coughs> at, at 40 miles an hour. Okay? I then drive back from Cambridge to Oxford at 60 miles an hour. The obvious question is, what is my average speed for the whole journey? Okay? So you go at 40, you come back at 60, obviously the answer is 50. Okay? So let's check that. Okay? Uh, so, well, we, we, I mean, I know the distance from Oxford to Cambridge, but supposing we didn't know. So we, 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 we take d to be the one-way distance. And then you know that, that speed, miles per hour, is distance over time, therefore time is distance over speed. So the time taken to go there uh, is d over 40, because you're going at 40 miles an hour. The time come to come back is d over 60. Uh, and so the average speed is the total distance over the total time. So let's work that out. The total distance is, is 2d, d in each direction. And the total time is d over 40 plus d over 60. And you've got to play around with these fractions. The bottom you can simplify. And by the time you've done all the simplification, the d cancels, because of course it's not really relevant, and it ends up with 48. So if you go along at 40 miles an hour and come back at 60, your average speed is not 50, it's 48 miles an hour. And I think quite a lot of people find that quite surprising. One of the people at 1 o'clock came up to me afterwards, after the talk, and said, you know, I still don't believe it. Anyway. 